Okay, let's take a look at how we can select three items out of a possible five items when we can't replace them. In other words, we can't use something twice. Um, we refer to these as permutations. Um, the permutation is simply saying, I can arrange R, meaning required, number of objects from a single group of N, remember total number I have, possible objects. So the most basic way for me to do it is simply like I do when I sample without replacement. And that's going to say the first one I pick I can choose from all five. But when I go to pick my second one, since I can't reuse any, it's simply going to be four. And then because I've already used up two, I'm down to three. And when I multiply five times four times three, I get a possible 60 combinations. So every time I use one, I have one fewer from which to choose. And because it's an AND, in other words, I want to choose a chord and another chord and another chord, I know that in any type of probability, anytime I say AND, I'm going to multiply. See how we can solve it using the permutation formula. Alright, through the magic of computer graphics, I now have the formula for permutation. And remember it's simply saying how many combinations or how many arrangements can I have of R, meaning required, how many I need, out of N, and remember N is always the number that I have, possible objects. What I end up doing is I end up using this formula for a permutation that uses factorals. Any time that you see that exclamation point, it's simply saying take the whole number, whatever number falls before it, and multiply it, just like I've done here with 5, multiply it by all of the numbers below it until you get to 1. So that's why 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 50 factorial would be 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 times 46. Thank God I didn't give you one that was that long. But you get the general idea. So I'm going to come back into this formula. And I'm simply going to substitute what I already know I have in my problem. Well, I know that n is the number of chords that I can choose from. It tells me right up here. Five chords from which to choose. There's my five. And it says we're only choosing three. So three are required. There's the R for required. There's the three in my formula. So the last piece is, is simply to say the denominator is N minus R right here. You already know that N is 5, R is 3. Do a little bit of math and you end up with the factorial equation looking like that. We just discussed, or at least I discussed, I think you were probably listening, that the factorial means go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right here. Again, if, I'd, if it was 10, it'd be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, all the way down to 1. The nice thing is, is through the magic of mathematics, because I'm dividing, I can get rid of some of this stuff and not have to do quite as much math. I know that 2 times 1 in the denominator is going to cancel out 2 times 1 in the numerator. Well, hey look, look what I have left. 5 times 4 times 3. It's the same thing I have right there, isn't it? So in this case, I could go through the whole pain and agony, writing out this formula, finding my n and my r, substitute in the numbers, reduce the fraction, do the math, and I'd still end up with 60. Or I could take the shortcut up here and be done really fast. So um, I'm going to continue working um, a couple of these problems in another video. So until then, uh, have an awesome day.